Wacky Wednesday. From a strange broad daylight sighting outside a British pub in 2013, to flying saucers spotted in the 1940s and 50s, we count 20 strange and plausible UFO sightings. Number 20. Edwards Air Force Base Sighting one can't blame the US Air Force for being sensitive about matters involving UFOs. In 1957, one supposedly landed at Edwards Air Force Base. If that sounded like an insane myth, keep in mind that it was allegedly caught on film and was reported to Gordon Cooper, a test pilot and astronaut in the United States' first manned space program. He was at Edwards supervising an installation of a new landing system at the time, and his account of the incident was pretty clear cut. As you can see from this black and white photo, Photo above. Number 19. Chicago O'Hare Incident When several people state that they observed a saucer-shaped aircraft hovering around before bolting quickly into the sky, it's tempting to assume that they don't know much about aircraft. But when such an incident occurred in Chicago 2006, it was pretty difficult to make that case. It took place at O'Hare International Airport and most of the people that saw it were actually United Airlines employees. Number 18. Mariana Incident In 1950, on the night of August 15, minor league baseball manager Nick Mariana became the first person to capture film footage of a UFO. It happened as he was inspecting the diamond before a game in Great Falls, Montana, which had since become a hotbed for UFO sightings and is close to a US Air Force base. Number 17. The McMinnfield Incident In Oregon of May 1950, a farmer named Mr. Trent saw a UFO outside the McMinnfield farm, and according to Mr. Trent, his wife Evelyn first spotted the object a silvery metallic disc. She was outside feeding her rabbits when it appeared in the early evening sky. She called out to her husband, who came outside and watched for a couple of minutes. He then went back inside and got a camera and took two pictures before the object sped off to the west. Number 16. The Westall UFO On April 6, 1966, in Melbourne, Australia, witnesses say a silver disc-shaped craft was spotted whizzing around and then landed in a paddock near a high school and then took off again. It would be a somewhat typical report of the type that is normally just a prank, except that this incident was observed by over 200 people in broad daylight and no explanation has ever been offered. Number 15. The Portage County Chase According to skeptics, half a dozen or so police officers chased a communications satellite into the Ohio wilderness and across the state line into Pennsylvania into the pre-dawn hours of April 17, 1966. When this official report was released, the police officers involved had a less than receptive response. In fact, they were infuriated by the insinuation that they could have been that stupid, and it turned out at the time, no one believed the police officers. Number 14. The 1976 Tehran UFO This incident was a radar and visual sighting of an unidentified flying object over Tehran, the capital of Iran. During the early morning hours of 19th September 1976, during the incident, two F-4 Phantom fighter jets supposedly lost instrumentation and communications as they approached the UFO. One of the aircrafts also supposedly suffered temporary weapon systems failure while preparing to open fire on the UFO. Number 13. The Trans End Province Incident The incident took place at the Trans End Province in January 1981 and has been called the most carefully documented sighting of all time. Retired farmer Renato Nicolai was working on his garden when he heard a sudden whistling sound accompanied by the appearance of something that he immediately took to be an experimental aircraft in broad daylight. He watched as a saucer-shaped craft between five and six feet in diameter dropped out of the sky, stopping to hover for about a minute or two about six feet off the ground. Then it rose into the sky with a plume of dusk in its wake. Nikolai says he was about 30 meters or 100 feet away the whole time this happened. Number 12. The Belgium UFO Wave The Belgium UFO Wave began in November 1989. The events of November 29th, 1989 would be documented by no less than 30 different groups of witnesses and three separate groups of police officers and all of the reports related to a large object flying at low altitude. The craft was a flat triangular shape with lights underneath. This craft made not a sound as it slowly fearlessly moved across the landscape of Belgium. The Belgium UFO was sighted by an estimated 13,500 people on the ground, 2,600 of whom 
filed written statements describing in detail just what they had seen. Number 11. The Bracknell Pub Pier. 2013. Mr Lambert of age 42 was on the terrace of a running horse pub in Bracknell, Berkshire, when he spotted two lights in the distant sky on a Friday night. One of the witnesses said, I was drinking with my girlfriend and her son. I went outside to make a photograph call when something caught my attention. He continues to say, It was around 8pm at night so there was a little bit of sun left but it was mainly overcast. It was heading south, west and quicker than a normal aircraft. He also said, I only saw it for less than 5 seconds and I have seen a lot of funny things in the sky and I have always practiced trying to take photographs quickly on my mobile phone. And I am interested to see if anyone else saw it and whether or not there are other witnesses. Number 10. The Phoenix Lights Also identified as the Lights Over Phoenix was a UFO sighting which occurred in Phoenix, Arizona and Sonora on Thursday, March 13th, 1997. Lights of varying descriptions were seen by thousands of people between the hours of 7.30pm and 10.30pm in a space of about 300 miles or 450 kilometers squared from Nevada through Phoenix and all the way to Tucson. Number 9. The Sao Paulo Chase, 1986. As many as 20 UFOs were seen and tracked by ground radar and at least six airplanes during the night of May 19th, 1986, over several states in southeastern Brazil. Unidentified radar returns were tracked by airports in Sao Paulo and the Integrated Air Defense and Air Traffic Control Center in Brasilia. Five fighter jets were scrambled in Santa Cruz, but none of the UFOs were ever caught up with. Number 8. The Kenneth Arnold case. The UFO sighting occurred on June 24th, 1947, when private pilot Kenneth Arnold claimed that he saw a string of nine shiny, unidentified flying objects flying past at speeds that Arnold estimated were at least 1200 miles an hour. This is the first post war sighting in the United States and got nationwide news coverage and is credited with being the first modern era UFO sighting. Arnold's description of the objects also led to the press quickly coining the terms flying saucer and flying disc as popular descriptive terms for UFOs. Number 7. Warren Air Force Base. The Warren Air Force Base in Wyoming has been a site of a number of alleged UFO visitations since the year 1965, when red and green flashing lights were reported by civilians in the area and had local missile sites like Warren on high alert. However, on this occasion the craft, or UFO, kept switching positions, and with police experiencing car troubles every time they started to get close, more than two hours after the incident began, the craft departed at blinding speed, becoming a white, bright speck on the horizon. Number 6. The Penny Woods Incident One December night in 1980, friends Betty Cash and Vicky Landrum, along with Vicky's grandson Kobe, where they were driving along a lonely highway through Penny Woods of Texas when they saw something none of them would ever forget, an encounter that left its mark on all of them mentally, emotionally and physically. The three came up on a water tower sized glowing diamond shaped object in the middle of the highway blocking their way. Flames periodically shot from the underside, making it rise slightly before setting back down. They said it radiated intense light and heat. Number 5. Socorro Encounter On April 24th, 1964, several witnesses in different parts of Socorro, New Mexico, reported different sightings of the same event. Some saw a low-flying object in the sky. Some heard loud sounds reminiscent of a takeoff of a large airplane, but one man swears he actually saw it land and that it could have been an alien spacecraft. His name was Lonnie Zamora, and it was such an astonishing encounter that it distracted him from the high-speed chase that he had been engaged in when he first caught sight of the craft, and at the time of the sighting, Mr. Zamora was an on-duty Socorro police officer. Number 4. The Levelland UFO This sighting occurred on November 3rd, 1957, 
in and around the small town of Liveland in Texas. The case is considered by UFOologists to be one of the most impressive in UFO history, mainly because of the large number of witnesses involved in a relatively short period of time. However, both the US Air Force and UFO skeptics have labelled the incident as being caused by either bull lightning or severe electrical storms. Two immigrant farm workers said that they were driving for four miles west of Liveland when they saw a blue flash of light near the end of the road. They claimed their truck's engine died and a rocket ship object rose up and approached the truck. Number three, the Lubbock Lights. Unusual formations of lights have been seen over the city of Lubbock. Texas. From August through September 1951, the Lubbock Lights incident received national publicity and was regarded as one of the first and great UFO cases in the United States. The Lubbock Lights were investigated by the US Air Force in 1951, which initially believed they were caused by a type of bird called a plover, but eventually concluded that the lights were not birds, but some type of UFO. Number 2. The Battle of Los Angeles The Battle of Los Angeles is also known as the Great Los Angeles Air Raid, as the name given by contemporary sources to the rumoured enemy attack and subsequent anti-aircraft artillery barrage, which took place from late 24th February to early 25th February 1942 over Los Angeles, California. The incident occurred less than three months after the United States entered World War II. Initially, the target of the aerial barrage was thought to be an attacking force from Japan. But speaking at a press conference shortly afterwards, Secretary of the Navy Frank Knox called the incident a false alarm, and newspapers of the time published a number of reports and speculations of a cover-up. Number 1. The Roswell UFO Incident The Roswell UFO Incident took place in the US in June or early July 1947, when an airborne object crashed on a ranch near Roswell, New Mexico. Explanations of what took place are based both on official and unofficial communications. Although the crash is attributed to a secret US military air force surveillance balloon, by the US. The most famous explanation of what occurred is that the object was a spacecraft containing extraterrestrial life, and since the late 1970s, the Roswell incident has been the subject of much controversy, and conspiracy theories have risen about the event till this day. 